Hello, and welcome to Miss Murphy's virtual edition of Meet the Teacher. So, this is my very first year in Launch Ed, as I'm sure it is yours. And so, um, Meet the Teacher is just a chance for me to talk to my new students who are entering kindergarten, as well as families, to make sure that we're all on the same page going into the new school year. Um, my name is Erica Murphy, and I am so excited to start the 2021 school year with your student and family. I have been teaching kindergarten at Palmetto Elementary for seven years now. Um, this will be my first adventure into Launch Ed, and I'm sure it's going to be yours too. Um, we have such a fun year filled with learning and growing together, um, so I'm really excited to get started with you. That's my family right there. All right. Some important things to remember are that daily attendance is still mandatory and should an absence arise, um, you should contact the school registrar to get it excused. Um, daily attendance to our live sessions is expected in order for your student to be considered um, actively present in the classroom. Grades will be collected through the Launch Ed course um, using different activities um, and they're considered serious and will be used for our progress reports and report cards. Um, I'll give you a heads up when grades are coming or if an assignment is graded so your student well and truly knows that this is going to count for um, a big part of their grade. Live teaching sessions happen according to the daily schedule and should be attended or they're going to miss the important content. So it's like missing a day of school when they don't come to the live session. So this is our daily schedule and this is already approved by the district. So this is going to be the schedule we follow from each day. Um, we're going to start with intervention and enrichment, and that's our small group setting. So your child might not meet with me for the full portion of that time, but they'll have center activities online to be working on. Then they're going to go to specials after that, and we're going to either have our coach or Ms. Ahi, our art teacher, or Mr. Harrington, our music teacher, take over for that portion. And so they should be able to access through Canvas still, and they'll do their special area just like they would at school. Then we're going to do ELA whole group, and that is one of the most important parts of the day. So I'm going to teach the story we're reading. I'm going to teach the standards topics. We're going to cover all the big stuff there. This would be normally our carpet time where we all come and learn together. And then following that, we have ELA small group and reading centers. And this is where I'm only going to meet with your child for a small chunk of time. They might meet in a group with three or four other people and we'll cycle through. So I'll tell them what time um, based on which group they're in and what story we're gonna be reading. And so they'll work with me for a small portion of that and then work on their activities for the other portion of that. Then we are going to have math whole group and that's where we would come back to the carpet and learn math all together as a classroom. Um, after that, we would have math small group, which is a little bit shorter of a time frame, but they will have activities with me and then activities on their own that are assigned. And this next part is the part where I am not going to be involved at all. From 12.45 until 1.30, they have lunch and recess. And I recommend you have packed or prepared um, some sort of lunch for the day so that it's ready then so that they can eat and still have enough time to move their bodies around. It's going to be a long day in front of a computer for all of us. And so I'm hoping that they have a chance to either get outside and go for a quick run or at least do some jumping jacks or something to get their bodies moving after they or before they've eaten lunch. We are going to meet back at 1.30 every day and do writing. Then we will have, um, from 2 o'clock to 2.30, we'll have social studies and or health. And then we'll end up our day with science. So as you can see, it's a pretty structured day and we're going to have a lot of live instruction throughout the day. Um, they're expected to be in class from 8.45 until 3 o'clock. Um, the only exception is that chunk in the middle from 12.45 to 1.30 when they have lunch and recess on their own. Okay, so the materials you will need for learning through Launch Ed. Um, the first one and the most important is your student's live presence in class. On time and attentive is number one material needed every day. Um, it's not so much to just be in class that I see that your little icon is there, but you have to be actively involved in order to take anything away from the teaching. Um, so it's important that they're attentive to their iPad and the lesson. I'm going to try my best to make it nice and exciting. We always have in class, so I'm sure we can recreate that through Launch Ed. Um, an iPad is going to be provided by Palmetto Elementary School. It's going to look just like this. It's going to be in an OtterBox already. It'll have your student's barcode on the back. Um, it's got these little pop-ups that all you do is push, and it'll flap around, push, and then it can hold up as a platform at that 
at that um once you've done that okay um you just pop them right back in very gently if they're pulling on or playing with these they will get broken and the case will no longer work so you'll have to keep an eye out to make sure that they're taking care of their ipads um, if you have not already planned to do so, pickup is on Friday, this Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, if you have come to this recording and you do not have an iPad, contact the school immediately because you need to pick that up in order to start your lunch ed program. Kindergarten will be providing a math and English language arts kit. Um, they're going to be plastic bags with manipulatives inside of them. It's really important that we keep these safe because we're going to ask our students to be using these throughout the year. So no baby brothers are allowed to play with them, no baby sisters. Um, they're not toys, they're tools for learning. So one of our best ideas that we have is, let's try to keep our iPad and our kits, as well as our curriculum materials, all in a safe place together. So if you have a shoe box or a container that they can put those things in and lock them up at the end of the day, that would be really helpful for their learning. Um, every once in a while, they're gonna need additional supplies pencil, paper, notebooks. Um, if you're unable to provide those, just please let me know. Contact me privately and I'll make sure we get those. All right, and here's some care items for your iPad. There is absolutely no food and drink next to the iPad. That's why I've um, portioned off lunch into that section. If they're eating during the lesson, that's not a big deal, but once they go to touch their iPad or interact with their class, that's when it causes a bit of problem. So definitely no fluids near the iPad and no food or drinks because these will get sticky and broken really quickly if we do that. Um, when they're done with the class assignments and activities, um, it needs to be charged. So I usually charge for my daughter overnight. Um, that way she's ready in the morning and we don't have a dead iPad that she has to stay connected to. You are not able to download new apps. So if we don't look at this as a play toy and we focus on it as a tool for learning, that would be really helpful. There are some games and activities that are available to them on their launch pad that will be super important in their growth and development. However, um, I wouldn't become reliant on it for them to play with um, because then they'll lose their focus on learning with it. Um, it's a good idea to set up a small area for them to keep their math and reading kit. Um, you're gonna get some workbooks for your curriculum material and their iPad. And if they have their own space, they're gonna know that that's where they go to learn and that's a good idea to set up in your home. All right, so I have some online meeting expectations. Um, these are going to be mentioned throughout the class. If someone's not following the directions, they might be reminded using these cards. And so here's just um, some of the important ones. My very first is to be on time. You can't be learning if you're not here, if you're not present with us. Um, we have that schedule provided. It's going to be provided to you again. Um, so make sure that they're on time to the best of your ability. I know things happen, but it's important that they come to school, right? Um, next, it is sit in a quiet spot. Um, it says no distractions, TV, music, pets, toys. Um, these are some of the biggest distractions and it's really hard for the class to hear if they can hear any of these things in the back in the back because um, the computer picks up a lot of that background noise. So it's really important that they find a quiet spot in the house where they can be learning. The next one is turn your camera on. I always wanna see your shining faces. I hope you guys wanna see mine every morning. So make sure that you're sharing your camera so that I can see you. Otherwise I'm teaching to an empty room and if I don't get any responses, they can't be re recorded as present. Every once in a while, Ms. Murphy is going to ask you to mute your microphone and this is important so that you can hear the instruction and a lot of times I will ask you to mute and unmute so that we can hear one another and then we have dress appropriately please make sure that um, you're not too close to the entry of a bathroom where you're set up for the day that you are wearing clothes that you would wear to school and that you're ready to learn and there's no distractions in your clothing um, the next two are courtesies that we would learn in the classroom normally, um, and they are raise your hand. If I can see your video and you're raising your hand, I actually know you have something to say, and then as soon as I'm done, I can call on you. So make sure that you're practicing raising your hand, and we'll talk about this for the whole first two weeks, okay? Our very last one is listen to others, and it's important that we hear the ideas and thoughts of our classmates so that we can make social connections with them and we can either agree 
or disagree with their ideas and share. So those are just some of the rules we're going to use to govern our online meetings. Um, when you go to get started with Launch Ed, um, you're going to be looking for our Canvas course. And Canvas is where we're going to do most of our learning through. So every student in Orange County Public Schools has a 10-digit student number. This student number has a Google account already attached to it, and um, you'll need it to complete activities. So you cannot continue through Launch Ed if you do not have this number. Once a parent email or phone number has been provided to me, I will send out individual student numbers and passwords so that you can log into um, their learning. I would assume if you are watching this video, you have already contacted me and I've got you that information. Um, we are going to use this site daily as a sort of home base for our learning and it's launch.ocps.net. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like when you go log into launch. You're going to put launch.ocps.net. It is going to look like there'll be a login screen. I've already passed that because mine's saved. And then you'll see our dashboard. And these are going to be the tools that we use three, throughout the entire year for our learning. So on here, there's some really important things. We've got iReady, which we're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis. We've got Learning A to Z. We have Skyward where you can view and access their grades. We have Nearpod for activities. There's all sorts of things on your students. This is the one we're going to be focused on right here. This is Canvas OCPS. So that's where they're going to find their class course it's called Canvas. So if Ms. Murphy is ever saying, go to your Canvas page, I'm looking for this one, the gray er, square with the red circle inside of it. Now, my Canvas is going to have a lot of different stuff on it than yours. You're going to look for this one thing. I am the Very Hungry Caterpillar Classroom. So you are going to look for this little caterpillar who's climbing up a watermelon, an orange, and a lime and a cherry. And that's our class. All right. Okay, so when you go to Canvas, this is the link for our course, but if you see this page, you're in the right place. So I'm gonna show you what Ms. Murphy's kindergarten class looks like once you pop it up. All right, you're gonna see me there like this. Hey, welcome! All right, and you're gonna also see our Very Hungry Caterpillar markers to show that you're in the right place. This is our classroom. This big green logo is where you're gonna access class that's live every single day. So when you see this classroom, all you have to do is click on it. Click here to start your live recording of the day. <coughs> you also have our class schedule down here if you need to reference that. And then at the bottom, you have all of the areas where we're gonna go to our assignments. So for instance, if we were in reading small group, I would ask you to go to ELA with the mushroom and Miss Murphy sitting on it. That's where your reading assignments are gonna be. You, you are always going to know that you are in reading because the ABCs are there. And then you could go to reading activities right there. And you know you're still in reading because the ABCs are still there. And then there's each daily activity. I encourage you to take some time and go through um, the Canvas course and just see what's on there so far. See what um, you need to go through to get used to it. Anytime you get lost, find that caterpillar and he will take you to the home screen. And there I am again, welcome. So that is our Canvas page and that's where all of our activities are gonna be. That's where you can access live lessons. Um, that's kind of our base for where we're gonna start all of our learning. And I'll have little symbols to hold up to make sure that we're in the right place at the right time. The other thing we would like um, downloaded this year is Class Dojo. We're going to be using Dojo for behavior rewards. So I encourage you to download the app on your phone or computer so that we can also communicate with one another. Um, you can go to classdojo.com or if you go to the App Store, there's a link for Class Dojo. It is free. You shouldn't have to pay for anything. Um, you can search for Palmetto Elementary School and then my class and you will find your son or daughter there and then it will have um, any behavior milestones that they've made. They did a great job listening and following directions. They had great answers today. And so I'll let you know how they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis using Class Dojo. 
I can also use it to send messages to the entire class at the same time. So when we make games all together as a class or we have upcoming events or activities, I can let you know through there. And last but certainly not least, I am here for you. And we're all going through this together and this is gonna be a new and exciting journey. And we're gonna have some failures and successes this year and that's okay. Um, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And please, please, please feel free to contact me. I will do my very best to get you a prompt response. I cannot respond during live recordings. So that's why I did not include my phone number. Um, I will have my email open all day long. So I should be able to get back to you either at the beginning, middle or end of the day. I'm hoping after these first two weeks, we really have it down so that your student is able to access the course and the information and material on their own. Um, it's gonna be tricky. I understand they're five and we're gonna get through it together. I'm hoping that they can ask me questions as they have them so that we can get through the technical part together. Um, I know we're, we'll get there and I'm very excited. Um, my email address is erica.murphy at ocps.net. I will be contacting you if I have not already and I cannot wait to start our kindergarten year together. We are going to have so much fun. Have a wonderful day and welcome to kindergarten.